Hey guys, what's going on? It is Castle Perfect here bringing you another live commentary on a battle. Today I'm going to be battling Pokey Playa from Twitter. I uh, tweeted out a challenge and he was one of the guys that replied to it. Of course, before this battle I got my ass handed to me because of a Keldeo that I couldn't outspeed and it never missed uh, his Hydro Pump choice specs. So everything was good, just going bad. I'm not going to be posting that battle, but um, I'll just tell you guys that I got owned by Kano. And uh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's about it. I modified the team that I used against him a little bit because I need something that is a little bit faster. Uh, because it was just ridiculous the way that he handled my ass. That was just, uh, I've never been bitten like that in a very, very long time. So uh, today we're going to be battling um, Mr. Pucky Playa. Like I said before, he's got a Musharna, which we are all familiar with. It's a very sturdy Pokemon. It loves to go for the hypnosis and stuff like that. Um, the Tangrowth is very defensive on the physical side. Uh, Sableye is going to be the Prankster. Ambipon the Fake Out, Double Hit, U-Turn. Uh, Firion most likely. He's got a Kindra which can be three different things. It can be the Special Sweeper with the Rain Dance, which I don't see any Rain Dance uh, set up Pokemon on his team. It could be Musharna, but I don't think so. It can also be the Dragon Dance Firion uh, and a Physical Sweeper at the same time. But it can also be the Focus Energy Firion, which can also you know deal out a lot of physical um, uh, critical hits and stuff. Um, so and he's got the, his last Pokemon is Darmanid, and obviously being uh, one of the most powerful physical attackers in the entire game. So. Yeah, that's gonna be interesting. The team that I'm gonna be using for this battle is gonna be a little bit different. You're gonna be seeing a Torterra, you're gonna be seeing a, a Tor Sharpedo, a Slacking for the first time on my channel, uh, a Mantine also for the very first time on my channel, and a Swello, and a Primeape, of course. So I'm gonna be using a lot of different Pokemon. They are not OU, most of them are not, if not all of them. Um, I think that it's, you know, it's, it's more entertaining to see Pokemon that you don't see every day battling against those Pokemon that you do in fact see every day. So that's gonna be very interesting to see. Uh, my opponent is gonna start off, as you can see, with the um, Tangrowth and I'm gonna start off with the Torterra. And uh, simply, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go straight for the Stealth Rocks because he might just go for the Sleep Powder, but I don't think the Sleep Powder affects Grass types. So he might just go for something else. I think he's gonna go for the Knock Off, to be honest with you guys. Uh, oh no, he's gonna go for the Sludge Bomb, which is not super effective, it's just neutral damage simply because I'm part ground, I am not pure grass. So that makes sense. Alright, so that doesn't do that much damage, I, I cannot hit this Tangrowth for any damage whatsoever because both my moves are resisted by Tangrowth, so I need to switch out into my Mantine here, uh, because that thing can pretty much punch whatever special attack this Tangrowth uh, can throw at me. And pretty much retaliate with something more powerful than what the terror can do against it. So in comes Mantine, and um, he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna switch out. We're gonna switch out on the same turn, which is fun. Uh, it's gonna go out into Rubbish, which is gonna be the prankster satellite with access to recover. It's one of the most annoying prankster type of Pokemon in the entire game. It's there on pair with uh, Whimsicott. So I'm just gonna hit a uh, fight. See what I can do. Got a hidden power fire going on. Scald for the burn. And I'm gonna go for the toxic because this kind of Pokemon you need to toxic them so that they cannot, uh, you know, switch in or stay in for too long and do damage to your team every single time. So I'm just gonna go for the toxic here. Obviously, gonna toxic this um, Musharna instead, which is fine as well because, you know, toxicing uh, walls and stuff is always very, very important. And uh, that's that's actually very good. So anyway, the thing is poisoned, and I need to think about what his next move, uh, what what his next next move is gonna be, because I have no idea to be honest. The Scald is obviously not gonna get the burn because he's already poisoned. So I am guessing that I should switch out back into Torterra. Or, you know what the thing is, I think he's going to go for um, Calm Mind, that's what I think he's going to do. And if that's going to be the case, then I'm actually going to switch out into Sharpedo, and I'm going to go for the Crunch, uh, to deal some super effective damage. Obviously, I am very, very scared of the Tangrowth and the uh, Darmanitan, because they are very scary. So he goes for the Calm Mind, just like I predicted. 
and uh, that's gonna give him a boost on the special attack and special defense by one stage. Obviously, I'm gonna get the speed boost at some point, but the poison is still racking up damage, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I am not sure if he's gonna stay in or not, but um, I don't think. Wait, wait a second. I think he has access to energy ball, so instead of going for the crunch, I should. Yeah, I'm, I'm. I'm just gonna go for the crunch. I'm not gonna doubt about it. I'm not gonna, uh, you know, think that it's not really going to do that much damage because it's super effective. It's tapped and it's actually going to take down the Musharna, which is absolutely perfect. Now the game is down to six to five at this point. I am still on the lead. I'm gonna get that speed boost, um, a boost which is absolutely fantastic. Now this Sharpedo is a different Sharpedo. It's, it's a mixed uh, Sharpedo, so I don't have access to the. Um, What's it called? The... Um, dang it, I forgot. I don't have access to Ice Beam, unfortunately, at this point. With this moveset, it doesn't have Ice Beam, so... I cannot really damage the Tangrowth for any damage, so... Uh, it's, it's I'm very glad that he actually switched in his Ambipon. But instead of going for the Fake Out, he switched out again, and he goes out into his Rubbish, which is gonna be the Sableye. I go for the Protect because I thought he would go for the Fake Out, but apparently he doesn't do that. I'm gonna quickly take a sip of my iced tea right now. Mmm. Very tasty. Mm, I almost dropped the glass. So, Speed Boost is gonna be active once one more time. And it will definitely go for the Will O Wisp. That's what I'm actually predicting. But, um, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go for another Protect. <laughs> Just to be sure uh, f with what move he's gonna use next. So, so it's gonna be Will O Wisp. I can stay in though. And I can go for the Hydro Pump, but really, I'm most likely going to need my uh, physical side as well, so I might as well just go ahead and switch out, because quite frankly, it's really not good for me to stay in here and uh, get will o -Wisp. I'm going to switch out into Mantine one more time, because Mantine can take the Foul Play, can take the will o -Wisp because I'm already poisoned. Um, Recover is really not going to do anything, and... Uh, that's about it. Okay, Nightshade is a problem. Nightshade is certainly a problem. But um, it's okay because I still have a very decent amount of HP. The poison is gonna be doing damage every single turn as well. Um, perhaps I should, you know, go for um, another Toxic because that would be a good thing. But he will, he most, he will most likely predict the Toxic. So uh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go for the Toxic anyway. Oh, dang it, he's got Taunt. Okay, so it's gonna be a Taunt. It's gonna be Taunt, Recover, uh, Nightshade, and will o -Wisp. Okay. It's good to know. It's good to know. Nightshade does not affect normal types. will o -Wisp will activate the Flame War, or will activate my Guts ability on Swellow. So, perfect switch in Swellow. Let's go. What will he go for at this point? That's what I'm curious. Nightshade doesn't affect normal types. Perfect. My <laughs> Flame Warp activates and God's ability is going on right now. I am not sure if I will be able to KO a Sableye from this range, but I'm definitely gonna try it. I'm gonna go for the Brave Bird here and see where that takes me. The Sableye is a Pokemon that, you know, sometimes it can be quite, quite good on the defensive side. It just depends on how you trained it. Um, what the AV spread is, but um, I think that this Sableye will be able to live through it, but it will almost die. That, that That's something that I'm pretty sure about. Alright, so he's thinking, he's taking his time, he's gonna go for the recover. Unfortunately though, he's faster because of, because of Prankster, and that's gonna happen. So Brave Bird, let's go. Whoop! It's actually going to kill the Sableye, so much power, just like Raticate. These Pokemons are amazing. Guts users, they are on another level, seriously. Um, and I have another Guts uh, user on my uh, Pokemon PC that I will be using later on, so we'll find out what happens. So it's gonna go for the Fake Out, obviously. I'm not going to stay in here and allow him to Fake Out me, so I'm gonna switch out into Torterra. Once again, the game is 6 to 4 at this point. He has lost two of his Pokemon. And I am looking very good at this point, and the game is going very well. 
So he's gonna go for the fake out, predicted fake out. He's really not gonna do that much damage because of course I'm physically defensive. He has the life orb though. And I'm gonna recover a little bit of HP because of the leftovers. Um, okay, he has, let me see, what does he have left? He has that Darmanitan, that Tangrowth, Kindra, and Ambipon left. So Earthquake is an option, but I think that he will be switching out into his Tangrowth. So instead of anything else, I will just go for the Wood Hammer and see where that takes me. He's gonna go for the double, he's just gonna stay in. Wow, really? Are you really going to sacrifice? your ambipon that was not really the smartest move but okay woodhammer let's go down goes ambipon and he only has three pokemon left being the tangrove the kindra and the darmanitan and i'm obviously gonna die to the recoil damage but that's fine because i'm looking very good at this point um okay so darmanitan kindra or tangrove what is he going to switch out into i don't know what is he going to send out um right you know what I'm actually going to bring out slacking because slacking hasn't shown up in the entire battle so in comes the Kindra though <laughs> something is gonna get a very heavy blow because I am choice banded and I'm gonna go for that Giga Impact it doesn't matter what it goes for or if you switch out into his tank road it doesn't matter it's gonna get an immense amount of damage from that Giga Impact strangle me is gonna bring he's gonna bring out the tank road very good play on his part. I really don't need to have predict at this point because I think that Giga Drain will do a lot of damage as well. Bam! Giga Impact almost takes down a physical tank run. Oh my god, so much damage. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Quick Law is gonna activate. He's gonna go for the Sleep Powder. Okay. Well, that's fine though. <laughs> I, I am not attacking on the next turn though. I can switch out. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch out now, you cannot put something else to sleep because that's going against the rules and uh, you will most likely go for that sludge bomb again, so I'm gonna switch out into Mantine. Hopefully he doesn't surprise me with like um, with like a power whip and he actually activates Quick Claw two times in a row. Well, very lucky on your part. He's gonna go for the lead seed, okay. Not bad, not bad, he's playing, he's playing good, the tank growth is a good, very good Pokemon. He's a very good Pokemon, I gotta say. Alright, he's gonna recover a little bit of HP. I'm gonna go for that Hidden Power Fire. And I'm gonna take down this foe. Um, the Poison is wrecking up damage, and I am at 50% damage at this point. And I'm just gonna go for the Hidden Power Fire. Let's see what I can do. Hidden Power, let's go! Take him down, yes, perfect! Down goes the tank road, and obviously a hidden power fire from a Manta, and that's not something you expect, so I don't blame him for not seeing that move coming. But um, very good play right there, Manta, thank you very much. The tank road is down, and he only has two offensive Pokemon left, being the Darmanitan and the Kindra. So in comes the Kindra, which is absolutely going to go for that focus energy, and I am 100% sure about that. So I am actually going to go for the Toxic. Oh, he's gonna go for the Draco Meteor. Okay. Well, that, that, that doesn't matter. I'm a specially defensive wall, so I can take that. <laughs> it even it doesn't even do that much damage. Wow, incredible. Mantine is a is a monster on the special defense side. It's unbelievable. Did you see that? The stab Draco Meteor from a Kindra doesn't do doesn't do anything. So the lead seed is once again going to be racking up the damage, and I think that I'm going to be dying to the poison. And if that's not the case, well, whatever, it doesn't matter because I'm still going to stay in here because Mantine, I don't have any use for Mantine at this point. There is no need for me to switch out and uh, uh, risk anything else. So he's going to he's gonna go die to the poison, actually. So that's good, I guess, in a way. Uh, and I am going to bring out Swellow to clean up house. That's what I'm going to do. So in comes Swellow, and I'm, I'm basically going to facade away here. I don't think that the only possible way of him coming back or, you know, doing something incredible is only if his Darmanitan is Choice Scarfed. Otherwise, there is really no other option that he will be 
having a comeback. So down goes the Kindra, and he only has one Pokemon left, being the Darmanitan, and if the thing is not Choice Scarf, then um, this game is basically in the pocket. So in comes the Darmanitan, which is gonna get damaged by the Stealth Rocks, and um, I'm gonna go for that facade, obviously. And uh, okay, so apparently he's not Choice Scarf, so I'm gonna be able to outspeed and go for the facade, basically sealing the victory here for me, being a 4 to 0. Uh, game, thank you guys very much for watching. Remember to follow me on Twitter, the link will be down in the description. You guys can challenge me there to a battle, you can see all my updates and whatever not. So, it is really important to follow me on Twitter. Other than that, guys, uh, if you would be so kind to leave uh, love in the form of a like on this video, it would be totally appreciated. And uh, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much once again, and I'll talk to you guys later.